Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And I am back with the monthly favorite and I actually want to do my July and August uh, favorite. Since I haven't filmed any July favorite because um, I didn't have that many things, favorite things, you know, I thought and anyway I was traveling and I thought anyway I would do like a summer month's favorite. So let's get started. I want to start with this um, beautiful um, Soleta de Chanel and I've used this one every single day in uh, July and August and I've used this item here, this bronzer, this is a, like a creamy bronzer as you can tell here it's a creamy and this color is not too dark, not too uh, light, I believe this one can can go with any skin type of tone and what I like to use this bronzer here so I'll show you I've, uh, I like using this bronzer with this Sigma brush with this Sigma flat angled kabuki brush it's F88 and please excuse me my brushes are super dirty I have to wash them but I just want to get this film up and want to show you. So this one is a more ankled flat kabuki brush and what I just done is I just went in like this and then I contoured a little bit. I also like to do is just go around my nose and do like you know when you go and uh, when you go on the beach and so the sun kiss you actually exactly on these places and I just went through my skin like this, I've contoured a little bit and then uh, buff it a little bit on my nose and yeah there you go, I just did it like this. The next item I super super enjoyed was this um, concealer by Maybelline and I've got this one in July and used it and I'm really really impressed with this product. It's called Instant anti-age effect. I'm not sure if you can tell and I believe this one comes in two different colors in the light one and in the dark one and I have the number one light and again I use this one just here around my under my eyes to you know um, light a little bit the under eyes and I've used, I'll show you quickly, I've used this Sigma brush, um, the Precision Tabaret Sigma brush P86. And as you can tell, it's round. And I'll just buff this concealer to brighten a little bit up my dark under eye circle. And I applied this concealer or highlighter with this brush which I really really love both of the months there you go then the next item I super super liked uh, July and August is this foundation and this is the Terracotta Jolita foundation by Guerlain and comes in this pump here I've got this one I, actually after I've seen the um, review from the Lux Babe. She did a review on this item, a really good video. I will link down below the video. And I was super impressed and thought I'd give it a try. It has a beautiful smell. Um, it smells more like a summer, you know, has a summer flavor. And I've liked this one. And the brush I liked by Sigma was this. And this is the Flat Kabuki brush F80. As you can tell. And I've mentioned in one of my videos in July, I believe it was in July, yes, that I've ordered some of my Sigma brushes and I was super excited to get them. And I have them and I am using them every single day. So this is the foundation I liked. I will put down below the review of the Lux Babe. Um, go and check it out. Next item I super enjoyed was this blush by MAC. And this is called Margin Frost Powder Blush. And guys, this is my all-time favorite blush. This is a small um, Christian Dior um, powder blush brush. I've got this one with a highlighter I bought. So I go just here in and can you tell? So beautiful and shiny, perfect peachy color I need. There you go. 
Something else I also liked uh, during this month is and July is this Paint Pot by MAC. I've got this one in July and this one is called Rubenesque Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And has here I just take a Sigma brush Precision Flat P80 and... Can you tell? I mean, I'm not sure if you can tell but I really like this one. I've used this one almost every, every day and also, as I mentioned, I blended it with a darker color on my crease. You know, just blend it a little bit so that I have a smoky eye effect and yeah. So this is really a beautiful paint pot, really enjoyed this one. Then something else was um, that I really really liked is this um, crayon by Lancome and this is the lip pencil or lip liner and it's called Rosé T 315. I hope you can tell here the number, but I will anyway put down below the, um, all the names and I'll show you how this one looks on me. What I want to show you is, I'll just put this on and then I'll show you the lipstick uh, which I really really enjoyed, super enjoyed during August and uh, July and August was uh, the Color Your Smile lipstick or lip gloss and this one is called Rose Hill and I'll show you that these two goes very well together. Let me put let me put um, the lip liner on. I'm doing this super quick just to show you. And what I also do is I fill a little bit in my lips with this uh, lip liner. And you could also blend it because here is the color. The color looks really like this. And here you have kind of brush. And you could also blend a little bit the lip liner on your lip. Just blend it like this. And make it softer. So this is the lip liner I super enjoyed during this two months and here is the lipstick from Color Your Smile and Gerard Cosmetics and it's called Rose Hill and you have here you have a kind of mirror and here inside is even a light if you can tell so let me show you how this one goes very well with this lip liner Voila. And I have to tell you that this lip gloss is a lipstick slash lip gloss has I mean it's a little bit sticky but really really a little bit but it doesn't bother me because it gives me the feeling that it it holds it lasts long you know and once it dries on your lip then really it stays I don't want to say the whole day, but the half of the day, if you're not going to eat and drink, <laughs> then it, it, it stays the whole um, the half of the day. And then you can, after lunch, you can wash your teeth and then uh, again, fresh up your makeup and put a little bit, you know, of this lip gloss or lipstick and then you are fresh and ready to go. So this is really a beautiful uh, color. I super enjoyed. What I also super liked was this lipstick by MAC and this is more a nude color and it's uh, new to me. It calls Luster Syrup and I'll show you how this looks. And it's more a nude rose, dusty rose. I'll show you how this one, i give you just a swatch. There you go. Really, really beautiful. And again, I would always recommend using a lip liner, you know. Um, I'll show you, I'll give you a swatch of the lip liner. So the darker one, the dark one is the lip liner I have on my lips. And uh, the lighter one is the lipstick syrup or syrup, syrup or syrup by MAC, which is really, really beautiful. And I have actually also, I mean Lancome has also a lip liner, which is called, I believe, a, um, Rosé, Rose Boisé 
and this one would match the syrup or syrup lipstick by MAC super good. There you go. The next item I enjoyed both of the months was this hand cream. There you go. Um, this one is the hand cream by L'Occitane en Provence and is the flavor Fleur de Cherise Cherry Blossom. And guys, I, I really, really love this scent. It, it was so fresh. It fresh. Um, yeah, the scent was super fresh and flowerly. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. And it's almost gone, as you, as you, can, as you can tell. And also, it, it goes super quick in your skin. It dries super quick. It doesn't... I mean, it gives the, the moisturizer you need, you know. But when you... Uh, uh, just massage it in your hand, you know, apply it. Oh my god, oh, really, really, mm. I really like this scent. And I super enjoyed this, this hand cream during the both of the months. And I will definitely get an little tube because, yeah, I liked it. There you go. Um, then two other uh, beauty item I super enjoyed and really in love with this one are these two. It's a set. And this one is Aldo Vanity, and as you can tell, it looks like this. And this one is a hydro, um, hydro shower gel, and the scent is, let me see, there is actually, oh, it's the same. It's cotton, so the flavor of this one, it's cotton and white magnolia. And here is written, this milk shower gel protects your skin from drying and just seduce you with a bewitching or be watching light scent of magnolia. So there you go. This is the shower gel um, I've got from Aldo Vanity. I am in love with this one. I am super in love and it's also almost gone. It's here. I have only this product left. I will definitely go back and buy me another one, maybe even two, since I really, really like this scent and I'm super afraid that this one is a kind of summer special edition. I don't know because it's the first time I discovered this one. And as usually I like to match, you know, when I have a shower gel, I like to match then the cream. Not always, but yeah, I like it. So I bought myself this body cream there you go, and here as you can tell again Aldo Vanity and has the same flavor like the douche gel and this one is called Pure Hydro Body Balsam. There you go. And again here, if there is an English version, yes. Again, it's a hydrating body cream, cotton and white magnolia. This light skincare cream absorbs quickly and pro provides intensive moisturize, moisture. Moisture, moisture, Mo well, you know what I mean, and ideal for sensitive skin. As a, and as you know, um, or may not know, my skin is super, super sensitive. I get always marks, and you know, so like red marks, and yeah. Well, I really, really love love this product, and I'm going back and get me again these two things. There you go, guys. Then I have two more items to show you, and this is. What I've used the whole, you know, August, not in July, but in August, end of July, uh, beginning of August, I really, really used this wallet every single day and is the Zippy Coin Purse in Pomme d'Amour in the leather vernis, which is the pattern leather by Louis Vuitton. And it was perfect, guys, it was really, really perfect. I've used this every single day um, together with a clay. So I, I, I have put in, put in, I put my cards here inside and I've used my clay for coins, you know, because this one tends to get super thick if you put coins. I mean, I don't mind putting coins in my wallet. I believe that wallets are here to use and in the wallets I have always cards, cash and coins. So, but I've used my other the clay pochette for my coins and this one for my bills and cards. This one and I super, super enjoyed and love it. And the next item and last item I enjoy doing these both months is my um, cosmetic pouch by Louis Vuitton and this one is the Trousse Toilette 15. Is it 15? Is it called Trousse Toilette? Yes, I believe it's called Trousse Toilette. Anyway, I will put down below the, re the real name, the right name, if this should be the wrong name. And I like this one because it's super compact, it is small 
and I've got this one in May. I don't know if I showed, if I revealed this uh, now on my YouTube peer channel, but this item is so, so functional, perfect, compact, you know, and I can put all my stuff here inside to touch up my makeup and I have my margins, my margin frost, um, you know, uh, blush. I have it inside and then I even put my small uh, Christian Dior, you know, blush brush. I put this one inside as you can tell here, I'm not sure. There you go. I have to be careful that things don't fall out. And then check. And it's closed and it doesn't, it, it's not bulky at all. It's super perfect. And yeah, this one is made in France, as you can tell here. And this is the perfect size for my smaller bags, crossbody bags. Perfect. I actually gave the Half Moon cosmetic pochette in the PM size in, mon PM size in the monogram. I I gave this one to my mom so she can use it and I have this one which I really really like and was actually my favorite cosmetic pouch during July and August. Woo! So there you go. Maybe I want to mention just these two brushes as well because I am in love with Sigma brushes lately and I've got some of the Sigma brushes and again these are super super dirty I have to wash them but I will mention them anyway. This is the Tabret Face um, F25 brush and I use this one for powder. I put powder under my eye and then to fix my, you know, makeup after I put my foundation. And this one is another Tapered Highlighter F35. And as it is a highlighter brush, I am using this one to highlight my cheeks or cheekbones. Here, here and then here on top of my nose and on my lips and here. Yeah, there you go. Super love these two brushes. Yeah, there you go. This was my um, monthly favorite, my July slash August favorite and I super hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed doing this and yeah, so thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye guys!